guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jayla Mitchell, also known as Natural Rain. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and then click the notification bell so you don't miss my new uploads. So welcome back. Welcome back. So um, today I'm gonna be talking about natural hair trends that I refuse to follow. I just refuse. And I will say like, being a part of the natural hair community and doing YouTube and everything like that, I get a lot of pressure to do certain things that I'm gonna be honest with you, you're never going to see me do. But I wanted to make this video so that y'all aren't surprised or you guys don't feel like I'm ignoring you or anything like that because I have my reasons why. Um, I just, some things, I, it, they don't make sense to me. Make it make sense. So. This is not to bash anybody who wants to do these things to their hair. This is only to say that I do not want to do these things to my hair. And I feel like I shouldn't have my choice taken away from me, okay? I just don't feel like that should happen. Just because I do natural hair doesn't mean I gotta do some of that crazy stuff that I just, common sense for me, it just tells me like, no, that's a bad idea. Y'all ask me how I grow my hair out long? I don't do crazy stuff. Nothing like that crazy, nothing over the top, nothing. Also, a uh, shameless plug, if you have not seen my video on how I grow my hair long, because that is one of my top, 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 top questions, I have the whole playlist. I will have it linked up there so you guys can check that out. But right now I'm talking about trends. Trends, get on topic, Jalen. I wrote it down so I could stay on topic. So, number one thing I'm not doing is 100 hairstyles. And I say 100 hairstyles because I know I'm not actually going to do 100 hairstyles, but some people be getting pretty close. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when it comes to hairstyle creativity, I'm just not there. I just don't, I don't, I started my channel to help people learn how to have healthy hair so that they can do whatever hairstyle they want. But me, there are people that are so gifted in the hairstyle category, and it's just not me, to be honest. You may get a hairstyle here and there, and that's a blessing, but I am not gonna do it all the time. I just know myself and I know I just wouldn't keep up with that. I don't think the hairstyles will be cute and I feel like so many hairstyles have already been done. So just please don't expect to see a crazy amount of hairstyles on my channel. If I have it, if I have an idea, I'll share it with you guys. But if I don't, I show you guys how I wear my hair and things that I wanna try, but some things I, just, I, don't, I don't do. I don't know how to do one or I just, I wouldn't wear my hair like that. I really love my hair pretty much just in this row. So you, you won't see that. And like I said, when I started my channel, it was all about how to grow your hair long and healthy, the healthy way. Also how to color your hair, all of those things. Like when it comes to like what works for your hair type, what products go well together, how to do wash and goes, how to grow your hair long, how to keep it thick and healthy and all of those things, I'm, I'm your girl for that. But when it comes to hairstyles, as of right now, just don't expect it, please. Number two, these are some trends that, um, I don't know who came up with them and I do understand it gets a lot of views and stuff like that and I ain't hating on nobody. Go get your coins, go get whatever, whatever, but I just won't be doing them. And that is Vaseline. I'm not putting Vaseline on my hair. I cannot, I cannot physically get myself to do that. Just because if I feel like anything is going to damage the hard work that I put in after telling you guys how to get your hair healthy and all that stuff, I'm just gonna go and put Vaseline in my hair. That don't add up. I like consistency. I just, no, I work so hard to get my hair this way and I don't think the amount of video views or what have you is worth possibly damaging my hair at all for one video i think not and then the other thing it kind of goes along the same line is blue magic i don't know if y'all know this or not but it's like this gel it's like an old school gel that you know moms used to use back in the day on their daughter's hair but it ain't really meant for wash and goes it's kind of meant I, like a gel to like slick up your hair and stuff like that i personally will not be doing that because i wouldn't do that i just wouldn't do that like i don't want to see the point of doing it i it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't add up to me. So number three is, people have been asking me this a lot, or not really a lot, but I have gotten a few comments about it and I just wanna let you know right now, it's not gonna happen. And it's not because I don't wanna give you guys what you wanna see, but I'm afraid it's gonna mess up my hair something crazy, and that is that twisting machine, the as seen on TV twisting machine. I feel like that machine is more work than the payoff. So it's supposed to, if you guys haven't seen it already, it's supposed to twist your hair for you. So you just put your hair in the little 
I don't even know, the little compartments and then it twists it up. But what it looks like it's doing to me is it's knotting your hair up. So do you know the wash day that I would have after that, after knotting my hair up? And then some people were saying it's too tight on their scalp and it hurts. And I just feel like all the time I'm taking to put my hair in these little two compartments and get it to twist up and then unravel it a little bit because it was too tight. I could just twist it with my fingers and be done with it. And that is the quickest, most efficient, time saving, um, what else? And inexpensive way to do it. So that's the way I'ma stick to tried and true because I wasn't impressed. Now, if I was impressed, if there was a twisting machine that didn't look like it knotted up your hair, that did your hair in half the time, sign me up. If y'all can find that, I'll do a video on it. But until then, it ain't happening. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so the next one, um, people love their hair growth hacks. And I love a good hair growth hack if I actually think it's going to work. So the next one is vapor rub. People rub it on their scalp. Now, I, I don't know about y'all and how y'all grew up, but I don't know, like the black and Hispanic culture, whatever. I'm not really sure which one it came from. I know it is a little bit, you know, from the Hispanic culture, but we use Vicks vapor rub for everything. If you got a cold, just rub it on your chest. If you're having a bad day, just rub it on your chest. Uh, what's another thing? Whatever it is, Vicks is supposed to be able to fix it, right? But what I don't believe it can do is grow my hair out. Like, <laughs> I don't think like people just rub it on their scalp and they think it grows their hair out and I just don't see. First, it's not intended for that and I feel like there should be a disclaimer in the beginning of the video like use at your own risk because this could really mess up your hair. I just don't think it's a good idea. I, I'm, listen, my hair is growing, my hair is flourishing and I don't think I have to use Vicks Vapor Rub to get it to do that. I just, I don't see it personally for myself. And then the next thing is also a hair growth thing and y'all may have thought that I forgot, but there was this trend going around where people were using Monistat. Now Monistat is for yeast infections, but people, I don't know who decided, you know what? I just got some of this at the crib. I'm gonna put it on my scalp and put it on my hair and see if it grows. Who came up with that idea? How do you take something so abstract, so abstract that doesn't even belong on your hair that isn't even kind of closely related and say, you know what, this could be a hair growth thing. I, I don't, I don't understand. And people were saying it was like a couple of ingredients in it that can help grow your hair. Why don't you just go out and buy those specific ingredients and use products as they're intended to be used like that just confused me but y'all thought I forgot shame shame monostat on your hair to grow your hair I, I mean did it really work was it worth it I did not forget that was a terrible terrible phase in the natural hair community and I wish I could forget it but I can't and so if you want to see me do that you're out of luck because I ain't doing it nope Okay, so on a brighter note, with that being said, all the things that I won't do, I'm still very open to trying new innovative things that I think could possibly work or just to show you guys how it works on my hair. I am all for that as long as it does not damage my hair's integrity, its strength, its length, the color, anything like that, that I'm good. So like, for example, a couple of natural hair trends that I actually really like, people are coming out with so many new hair products for natural hair because it's a big booming business. We spend a lot of money on our hair. Black women spend so much money on their natural hair that it creates a market, a huge market for brands. Like it's worth getting because women or black women, we're always going to get our hair done. We're always gonna make sure that our hair is together. So when people make these innovative products, it is a money maker. So I'm gonna have some honorable mentions. I know I gotta bring it on a positive point. Um, the Felicia brush. I really like that brush. I'll have it linked down below for you guys, but I really like that brush. It works really well. And um, actually, let me get it. Okay, so y'all, this is the Felicia brush and it just kind of moves with your hair, which is something that I really like. They're not easily movable, but it doesn't snag your hair as much. And when I do detangle my hair, I use this. Um, I usually finger detangle for my wash and goes, but I use this bad boy. And um, I think this is really innovative for natural hair because we always have that issue with our curls basically being ripped out because ain't nobody care up until now. And then another thing that I think is really innovative is these bad boys right here. I have a video using these waveformers so you can go check it out. I have it linked up there, but this is innovative. This, we can do something with this. I've never seen anything like this other than the curl formers, but it's new and it's something I feel like is worth trying. And I feel like 
people can do other things with it. Like right now we're in the beginning stages. We don't know all that we can do with these new products, but I'm telling you the way people are breaking out into the market, the way there are so many things to try for, like actually intended for our natural hair is bomb.com. Also, I do have a video on this Felicia brush. If you guys want to check it out, I have it linked up there as well. Always with the shameless plug, ow, but okay. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want you to comment down below and let me know natural hair trends that you refuse to follow. You just won't, you don't care how trending it is. It ain't gonna happen. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.